Come along with me to go to a mountain today. So of course, if you're anything like me, you cannot pass up a good deal. So I got these shelves on the way there from Facebook Marketplace. On the way there, I had some of Target's throat comfort tea. And I don't have a sore throat, but it is just so good. It almost tastes cinnamony, but I'm not really sure. Then we stopped at my favorite quick service restaurant, Kava, and they actually have a lot of things I can eat, which is pretty rare. And here are some of the cool looking drinks. They got some blueberry soda, and I got some water. I got the one of the bowls. It's customized and all the food tasted really good. Totally gut health approved. Honestly, it's hard to feel happy at most restaurants when you have the allergies I do. So here's me in the car trying to save some of my old ugly drawings by coloring them. And I kind of feel happy about how it's going so far, but honestly, this is one of my least favorite drawings. So we'll see. Okay, never mind, it's super muddy. Okay, we're gonna start over later. And here's my happy little car squid going for a ride with me. Hello. This view is just so amazing, but honestly, the view that's coming next is so much better. So here's where I started over, and I think this drawing is a bit better, but I still think I could do better. We are almost at mountain range now. The mountain is coming very close to where we are and I am already getting so excited about this. Unfortunately, I had to stop recording right before because I needed to pay attention to what was going on. We are still slowly climbing and almost there now. Thankfully, we got here pretty much earlier than I usually do, which is great. And Already, I can feel the air difference change because of how high up we are, which probably isn't that high for most of you, but for me it is. And here we are! So we chose to do half of the trail today for Stone Mountain, which basically takes you all the way up and all the way back down. At this point, I could definitely feel all of the walking starting to get to me, but that's okay because it was really beautiful out there. As you can see, I am starting to get a little bit winded. It's really cool because it kind of looks like there were craters here from asteroids maybe.
This was the first time I've actually ever just gotten to sit on top of a mountain when it's almost sunset and the views were so beautiful. I feel like this hike changed my life and I'm not even being dramatic about that. If you ever get the chance to just go outside and sit and actually enjoy nature, please do. Unfortunately for us, since we got there around 3 p.m. and the sun set around 6 p.m., we had to go pretty soon. So this was our hike all the way back down. I thought we should have turned back, but we decided to keep going, thinking that we can make the full loop in time, which is about four and a half miles. And this part was a little scary. You're gonna have to be a little bit careful if you come on this climb because some of the steps are quite steep and a little bit broken at times. And part of the time there's literally just a railing to hold on to as you're going down about 45 degree angles, like that. And I finally got to see sunset on top of a mountain. I have not really seen any sunset since I moved here, so it was a very special treat. And as you can see by the camera shakes, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Thankfully, from what I thought, we weren't far off from the car. Turns out we actually were, because we should have just gone back, but we were actually going to the full half of the loop trail instead of a quarter. Since the park was about to close, thankfully one of the nicest rangers ever gave us a ride back to our car. And here's my cute little squid riding home with us. Overall, I think this is one of the funnest days ever. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!